bullies typically pick on those weaker than them. But what happens when they make the terrible mistake of trying to bully cops? Here are the best cases of bullies realizing they've been caught. On March 8, 2023, a patrolling officer noticed a driver with a defective brake light. The suspect pulled into a Walgreens, and despite the activated lights, he proceeded. The car was stopped and parked. Car off. I'm going to stop, walk. bro. Ain't no stop. Come back here. I'm a grown man. He Come back here. Like no it immediately becomes clear that he thinks he will bully his way out of the situation. A second on-duty officer is called to the scene. It's your lucky day, okay? I got to go to a different call. You can't drive. You have a suspended driver's license. Right. You got to stay here and call someone else, okay? Meanwhile, the suspect is becoming even more aggressive. Let's go. Let's go, let's bro. Go. Don't let's touch go. me, man. Let's go. I'm bro. Ain't no let's go, bro. You better call your um, let's go. lieutenant or something. Ain't no let's, let's go. go. What's wrong with you, bro? What's wrong with you, bro? Let's go. Step it up. Bro, you got Come on. right got it. Hey, we're going back hey, outside. No, we're going where? We're going what, back what outside are you doing right to now. Me? What did you do to me? What did you do? Could you please bring out your camera, ma'am? I'm going my, my go. car, right? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. My car. What is your reason for harassing me, man? I, did I gotta go to work at 10 o'clock, bro. That's bro, why I stopped bro, you did not stop me, bro. You did not stop me. And your camera is showing that, bro. Let's what go. are you doing? We're Let's stepping. do what? We're stepping outside. Yeah, I'm stepping after I buy my Red Bull. Right now. After, no, no. Right now. You don't have that right. Yes, I do. You don't have that right. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Before he can buy his Red Bull, the second officer takes down the resulting suspect. We're yeah, stepping outside. I'm gonna buy my Red Bull. We're stepping outside. What's wrong with you? I got rights, man. You can't do that. Step you outside. See this? You see, record this. I ain't stepping nowhere. Please record it, please record it, man. Record it. Go, girl. Come here, man. Guess what's in? Yep. However, while he was on the ground, officers noticed a marijuana odor coming from the suspect. Now, I'll make it to my family, please. Let them see that video. I hey, we're breathe. good. Hey, we're good. You he can on breathe. my back and I can't hey, breathe. I'm not good. Me. Hey, we're good. No, he's on my butt and I can't breathe. Why am I in cuffs and I'm not arrested? Uh, is why am I being, I, I wasn't, why, why am I being arrested? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm going to talk to you. check his voice. Yes. Yes. How, uh, how this unnecessary force is being used on me. Wait, well, I, I mean, I just got here, man. Well, I'm trying to go to work. Like y'all working and y'all harassing me. Don't race this ass, bro. Get, don't touch me, bro. Please don't let dude touch me. Hey, I... In the back of the cop car, the male explains how he thinks the force used was unfair. Well, he smells you, like he smells like weed. Right. What do you have? Only thing on is registration suspended. Oh, yeah, I, I just missed. got it fixed. Yo, oh, he had no reason to tackle me in no damn Walgreens. Bro. Okay. Your driver's license is valid. You got nothing in the car, correct? Bro, I'm on my way to work. My okay. Job okay. Is down but the street, you don't have bro. anything in the car? Bro, well, y'all know I don't have nothing in that car. Okay. Bro. Is that right? If I search it, just make bro, sure you got. What no you mean? Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do to the car. Y'all got the car, bro. Okay. Is that right? If I search bro, it, I'm just I asking don't care you. What y'all do, bro? Due to the odor, they asked if they can search his car. What? I don't care what you do. What'd no, y'all you... don't have my permission to do anything. Oh. He said no, but they had reasonable suspicion, so they proceeded. There's weed in there. Law school, you know, you can be detained during a stop, and the officer can take. Bro, you that's not a stop. My car was turned off. His rage comes to no end, yelling at the cops. I'm yelling at y'all because I'm frustrated. Okay. I was on my way to work. Take care of my mother. Kid. Now, Harrison. And my shoulder hurt, bro. But when you're just sitting here with your eyes open, and not moving. I want to talk to my lawyer. I know. Adam. My shoulders are hurting. Y'all got me uncomfortable. He then claims he got an injury, but won't specify what's hurting. He's just trying to be a nuisance. Come back, call EMS, call Evelyn's. You just said you didn't need them. You I said need you need them. them. I need them. Call them. For what? Call them. Hey, hey for what? I need the Evelyn's. For what? What do you I need? need? To see. I need to see the Evelyn's. For what? Cuz, I need to see them. For what? I, I need to see them. Nevertheless, he ends up at the hospital where he still tries to resist. I'm not, I'm a victim here. I have you my know, hand. No, you know what you did, bro. At this point, the cops are practically laughing at the suspect because he keeps making false claims. We're not, we're not going to let you get up yourself after the way you just throw yourself around. So. X-rays were performed, which showed no signs of injury. Harrison was charged with two counts of resisting an officer, as well as disorderly conduct and three traffic citations. Non-registration of a vehicle, possession of THC, and parking in a handicapped space. Get off my block. It's not your block. Get off my block. It ain't your block. Badge number, sir. 175. I don't give a
What's that about? For what? That about? These wannabe gangster teens quickly learned why you can't act tough to cops. On August 26, 2023, Officers responded to reports of gunshots near an apartment complex. The cops are immediately greeted with a group of hostile teens. Did you guys hear anything? Walk, Did you guys hear anything? Walk, Sound like gunshots? Walk, 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 walk. Are you gonna talk? Hit, 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 hit. Get off my block. It's not your block. It ain't your block. I, I think it. They're, they have to do something with it. Went over there, they're like, get off my block, this is our block. Yeah, let's take a walk. While searching the area for clues of the suspects, an angry teen makes their job much easier. There's every reason, we have every reason to. Okay, okay. It, it ain't your, your block. block. Yeah, my shit. Your it block? ain't your shit. Take that shit off. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do? Take that shit off. What are you gonna do about it? Take that shit off. What are you gonna do about it? Are you threatening us right now? Take this shit off. Are you threatening us? Take this shit off. Are you threatening us? Yeah, I'm in. Yep. That's my man. We're married. What's against the law? What's against the law? What's against the law? Trying to show off to the girls, the teen starts teasing and threatening the cops, which they are initially patient with. Badge number, sir. 175. Stupid, I don't give a What's your shit? FTL Mitchell. What's your uh, badge number? 135. Sorry, I don't give a Bang. Oh my God. Y'all bored ass. Y'all don't got shells to do. Y'all don't solve murder cases. Y'all saw red cases. Y'all saw none of that. She y'all weird ass bitches. They don't even do their job. Man, Last murder case they saw, mm, almost four years ago. This tag number. I would suggest we're doing investigation. So back up. Move. Stop interfering with our investigation. I tell you to back up. Investigation what? Just, we're investigating. Okay, cause right of situation. coronavirus. Back up, sir. Cause of situation. Let me go look at your car. Let me go search your car. Let me go search your car. It's a car. I have a supervisor. Come on, the car, man. Come on, Mr. Five Foot Two. Yes, you Back up. Why are you so close? Why are you so close? Back up. You're not supposed to be so close. Back up. Come on, Mr. Five Foot Two. Back up. Come on, Mr. Five Back up. I would suggest you step back. For what? Step back. Crystal. For what? For what? This came for what? This came for what? Yeah, who no. talking to me? I can't even see no, that. I don't yeah. understand. That's right. Yeah. 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 It's funny how ugly I am. You ugly in the bill. Pay for what? You ugly in the bill. Get out of my face. Exactly. You in my face, stupid ass. Exactly. Back up. Exactly. Step back. 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 Step and they also decide to make an arrest on the team who threatened multiple times to knock the officer out. With the jeans. We dealt with her once. I don't know what for. We definitely dealt with her before. Yeah, she was new. I can't remember for what. And Billy. It's everything to do with my shirt. Okay. Okay, yeah, you go, you go, you go, you go. Get out of my face. Appreciate it. Back. Move back. back. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, I for what? The teens get even more rowdy and get themselves arrested. Oh, hey, keep your shit. Keep your Bro, hey, why are you touching me? Keep your distance. Me. Keep your distance. Notice how they think that just because the cameras are out, they can do anything they want. For what? What's Stay your badge back. number? No. No. Hey, no! Oh, no. Step back, don't step back, don't step back. Why are you touching me, bro? Oh, you touching me, bro? No, no, I'm not letting my best friend go. I'm not letting her go. Let her go. No, I'm not letting her go, bro. Y'all got me fired. I'm not letting her go. No, I'm not letting her go. No, I'm not letting her go. I'm not letting her go. I'm not letting her go. Come on, stop, bro. Bear in mind, at least one of these teens are in possession of a firearm and the situation is dangerous, so the other teens are secured, who start screaming. Y'all better stay back! Better stay back! Y'all better stay back! Go back! I ain't tripping! Go back! Go back over there, dude! Don't touch me! Go back! You all don't touch me! Hey, give me the phone, bro. Get. Go to the phone. Go to the phone. Yo, Breeze. Yo, Breeze, y'all touch him. Give me a phone. Why you... I don't need you in my face. I'm going to give you the phone, but don't get in my face, you. bro. You're not arrested, bro. You just mean the thing, right? But what? I don't know yet. I'm going to figure it out. Bro, I need you now, bro. Y'all record this shit. Y'all record this shit. Oh. Oh. What are y'all doing, bro? That, bro, record this shit very, very green, bro. Yes, bro. Keep this shit recorded, bro. Yo, got a whole thing on video. Once most of the teens are arrested, they're taken to jail and charged. The males were charged with a combination of disorderly conduct, resisting, and battery on an officer. 
The female was charged with disorderly conduct, resisting without violence, and battery on an officer. On February 6, 2023, a call was made reporting an intoxicated Karen refusing to leave a bar. Her behavior was so bad that the public cheered when she was arrested. When they first approached the lady, she thought she could dominate the interaction. They don't want your business no more. Let's go. What I do? I don't know. They don't can want you. Can you tell me? I got to go ahead. Go. Sorry. Okay, but can you tell me? I, 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 I will gladly talk to you once you're off the property. Okay, my car is this way. Okay. Well, you're not driving. Okay, I can walk then. Okay. I live two blocks from here. Okay. What I do? Let's go. I'll, I'll talk to I'm, you once we're I'm the... already walking. Right. Wait, wait, so wait, don't tell me that you'll tell me once I'm walking. I'm walking, once so we're tell off, me now. Once we're off the property, no, no, I would... tell me now. Yeah. After showing aggression, the cops put her in cuffs, and the crowd cheers. I do. Let's go. Come on. What did I do? Have tell you... me. I'm asking you If you, you shut to up me. and let me talk, don't I would... Don't talk to me like that. Don't tell me to okay. shut up. I Listen didn't to... even say that to Listen my son. To okay. What the... Come on, let's go. Let's go. Don't grab me. Let's go. Don't grab me. Somebody film this. What the... Why are you Put your hands down. You're under arrest. For what? You're under arrest. For what? For what? Stop. What did I do? Judging by her questions, she doesn't see how she was being a nuisance. Too late now. You're already under arrest. Let's go. You cannot arrest me without telling me why. Why are you arresting me? Why are you arresting me? Stop it. This is unlawful. Stop it. The suspect tries to play the victim, claiming the cop is abusing his power. Wait, you cannot do this. Tell me why. What did I do? You cannot do this. You're hurting me. You think I'm a broke bitch? You can't touch my shit. You have to have a search warrant to search my purse. What are you doing? I promise you, you're illegally searching my purse. What are you arresting me for? Why are you arresting me? Why are you? The second officer gets to hear both sides of the story and pay attention to how the female spins it. So, uh, <laughs> I gotta get his information real quick if you don't mind. No, you're good. So, she bowed down so. No, she wanted to fight and carry on, so she's acting stupid. What did he say I did? Because literally, I'm uh, I'm under arrest and in handcuffs because I didn't shut my mouth. What the f is happening? Were you not listening to him when he told you something? No, I listened to him. I asked him what was happening, and he put me under arrest, threw me over wooden guardrails, and put me under arrest. He would never tell me why. Did you leave the property when the property owner told you to leave? William, I, uh, no, or I you yelling not. and screaming? I asked him why. Did you comply with the deputy's orders? Him, wait, I asked I'm him I'm asking why? you a question. No, I did not immediately comply. Okay, I asked and that's him why, why you're in handcuffs right now. Wait, I asked him why that was happening, and he threw me over wooden... Okay, listen to me. Because of her bullyish attitude, the second officer becomes aggravated and decides to place her under arrest. Hold what? on, okay, I'll explain it to you again, okay? So, I asked you to leave, and you said no. I said, you want to talk? I said, we will talk to you once you're off the property. Management wanted you gone because you were interrupting business. And I asked you stop. to talk to me. You, you, stop. I'm talking. You listen. Oh, because what I have to I say talk. You matter. listen. Well, you because, refuse to leave. marks on my legs. So. Because I asked to talk to you. I told you. What did I tell you? Me so that's your conversation. I asked to talk to you. So, okay. Well, I'm going to get Don't drive. touch my shit. You have to have a warrant. I'm not intoxicated. I live. Notice how every few minutes she plays the victim, then switches back to arguing? This will only irritate the cops even more. Me. I am not Listen in, to me. Wait, Listen to me. I am not Listen a troublemaker. Stop. I don't start shit. I don't Stop. do shit to Okay, I'm trying to explain to you. I got hair on my mouth. I got, my, I got bruises on my, on my wrist. Her concern then shifts to her child. In contact her, can nope. pick him up. Nope, I don't have family or nothing here. I okay. just moved here a little over two years ago. I don't have shit. You don't have family, friends, nobody that you trust? Okay, then we will call DCF. No, 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 Okay, no, 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 then DCF no, 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 can pick no, no, no. him up from school. No, 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 okay? no, 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 If you don't have anybody in the state. Finally, the cop shuts the door in her face. You're going to jail. So if they're, what? I told you. What did I I'm not explaining you again. The suspect was charged with disorderly intoxication and resisting without violence. On April 10, 2023, police responded to a report of a young intoxicated male causing a disturbance in public. So uh, I got a call from the manager over here. He said you're just causing some problems in front of the uh, in front of the store. I'm causing some problems in front of the store. Yeah, he said you think you've been drinking alcohol as well, some penny or something like that. I don't see you causing hey, no problems or hey, nothing. Hey, 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 hey. This is 
talking about I'm causing problems yeah. in the neighborhood. Hey, I just got a call about it, all right? So I'm just trying to figure out, you know, like, the no, guy... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hey, hey, so the guy told me you're just causing problems over here, said you've been drinking. It sounds like you're slurring a little to me. Well, so what, what's going on? back and forth, talking on the phone. I know, I believe you, I believe you, man. You got no, yeah, I'm not, no, don't try to get defensive, man. But have you been drinking? Hey, dude, I smell, <laughs> hey, man, hey, man, I smell liquor on your breath. There's no liquor. Upon arrival, the cocky teen assures the cops he's sober. But I smell the booze on your breath. But they have their reasons to think otherwise. Listen. There's new, hey, hey, there's hey, not hey, going not, on over here. You're not breaking the law right oh, now. I'm just trying to, hey, I'm a leave, hey real I'm quick. A I'm a leave, I'm a leave. Hey, let me, I mean, come on, come here. Let's just, just talk, all right? What's up? Hey, you got, you got a, uh, you got a, like a chef shirt on, right? You, you work around here? Yeah, I work over there. Where, at Five Guys? Five. Uh, okay. Over there. Yeah, no, and, right. When the officer starts asking serious questions, the teen laughs in his face. Well, you're, you're not 21, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so this is only going to irritate the cops. What's this? That's not mine. No. So the guy said you were drinking Remy. It wasn't any. It was Remy. So that's not yours. That's not mine. Okay. But do you get you get how I don't believe you because it smells like you've been drinking. We found some Remy, which the guy said you were drinking, and now... I don't know where that came from. Okay, hey, hey, you got an idea on you, kid? I do. Do you got an idea on you? Nah. I nah, you got another one that came from. What's your name? My name is Shane. Shane? Shane. Shane? Shane. Yeah. Okay, what's your last name, Shane? Colder Davis. Shane Colder Davis, that your friend just told you to tell me. Alright, alright, here. After committing his second offense, giving a false name, the boy continues to make a joke of the situation. Hey, let me walk off. Where you, how, how you getting home? I, I, I just want to make sure. Dude, I'm walking off. are you 21? I can't, hey, if you're not 21, I can't let you walk off. Because now you're drunk. Now I've met, bro, I've dealt with you. I don't know what that is, I can't is, let you bro. go. I didn't drink nothing. Listen, dude, I smell it on you. I deal with DUIs all the time. Hey. You're going to follow me? Yeah, I'm going to follow you. With alcohol flowing through his veins and being as young as he is, the teen turns aggressive and violent. A fatal mistake. What's your name? Oh, bro, why are you so close? What is why your name so, so we can Why are around, you okay? so close? What's your name? Why are you so close? What's your name? Why are you so hey, close? Hey, Shane, What's Shane, if that's your real name, move. let's What's just get name? an idea and I'll let you why out Why are here. you so close? What is your name? Why are you so close? Back off, off right? me. Hey, hey, back up, back up, back up, Shane. Bro, name? get your, get hey, your employee hey, off hey, you, guys, stupid, for I spit in your face. Go. Hey, hey. For I spit in your face, hey, stupid. Hey, don't do that. You don't want to do that, buddy. Hey. Dude. Nah, because he's a dude. Dude, dude, dude. dude. Hey. hey, hey, hey. Hey, now you hit me. Now you hit me. All right. All right. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hey. All right, this is enough. Hey, hey, oh, hey. Wow. hey. You're not free to leave. You're not free to leave. Hey, you gotta hang Bro, up your what phone. what you talking about? Hang up your phone. Are you behind your back. Wow. wow. After being placed in cuffs, Don Reese becomes enraged and only makes things worse for himself. Talk about I believe it. You didn't answer. You didn't give me any information to go by. Do I gotta give you information for? Because. Because. because I gotta give hey, you information hey, for. Hey, hey, stop. Stop. Who I'm are not, you? I'm not yelling Who at you. Who are you? I'm not yelling at you. Please stop yelling at me, all right? Bro, who are you to lock me to, up for what? I have hey, to get hey, information. Hey, you see it, right? The cops are simply trying to help him out, but cooperation isn't in this guy's dictionary. Yeah, right. put it back in my pocket, you I just you. Hey, hey, bitch hey, ass. You gotta relax. Dude, you gotta, you arrested me for. We're not. You're, you're not. You're not right arresting you. Okay? Dude, you're. You swung at me you when I tried to calm you down. You have an. You and your wife. Dude, come on. Hey. Bitch ass. Hey, hey. Fuck you. Dude. We want to okay. take you home, but you got to tell us your name. Tell us all your words. What does that have to do with you? Everything. Okay? I need to know how old you are. does that have to do with you? I need to know how old you are. does that have to do with you? On his way to the cop car, he insults and spits on the cop. Hey, you's a faggot too. I hope your mom fuck you in your sleep. Wow. Hey, 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 stop, 
Stop. Stop it. Yeah, yeah. Spit that loogie on your face. You are not going to bang your head against the window, okay? I want you to know. All right? Hey, no, 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 no. I want you to know. I want you to know you don't have no power outside this wall. You don't have no power outside this wall. Clearly, Don Rees had just gotten done watching the Joker and is in his rebellious phase. <laughs> Let me lick him. Let me lick him. <laughs> God is not even up there. He's yeah. right here. He fights the cops all the way to his cell, along with spitting and threats. <laughs> you think you suck? Oh, you a real murder. <laughs> Don Reese faced multiple charges. Three felony counts of aggravated battery to an officer and resisting an officer. On January 27, 2023, an officer attempted to conduct a traffic stop as a male was driving a golf car on a public road. Not on community. I've followed you since community. Okay. Do you have your license or registration? I don't have to give you anything on my Yes, you my do. You're off my, get off my property. Yes, you do. You committed a traffic infraction. Okay, good. Send me a ticket. I need your license, I'm registration, and proof of insurance. I, I have not committed a crime, and I'm not going to... You committed a traffic offense. Yes, you did. I did not, sir. Yes, you did. Instantly, the male is dismissive of the cop and claims he has no right to ask for his ID. Okay, are you going to turn this into something criminal? That's up to you. I'm at my house. If you if you saw me out there, then you got to pull me over out that's there. Not that I, I that's not how that works. A traffic... That's not how that works. A traffic... remove your vehicle from my No, car. a traffic infraction happened on the car. roadway. I need your license. You're not getting anything. I need your license. Do not enter my property, sir. After some back and forth, the suspect's wife appears, who is equally as entitled. Uh, I don't know, sir. Okay, I need his license, or he's at risk of interfering with a law enforcement investigation. Does he want to get arrested for... What investigation, sir? Call the supervisor. Okay, I will. Call Sergeant Garcia. As he continues to refuse giving his ID, the cops call back up and his supervisor is going to teach the suspect a lesson. Officer, I'm going to ask you again. You're in my driveway. Please move. You committed a traffic sir. infraction on the public roadway. I'm respectfully asking you again, sir, if you please remove. I am not going to my driveway. You are not allowed to. Okay, you can think that. I, I know. I know how the police are working. Okay. Very well. Okay. Not on public roadways. This is not public, sir. You were on the public roadway. Say, okay. Do you have proof of that? Yes, sir, I do. May I see it? Uh, it's on the body camera. Perfect. Okay. I can give well, it to you after you give me your driver's license. The wife tries to lecture the officer about the law, and he gives her some harsh words. Yeah, also, you don't stop it for a moment. It's not, it's not That's not how that works. A traffic stop can be initiated anywhere yeah, a violation. You don't do that in that moment, that is when you do that when he come back in here in the house, that is when you don't do that in the right moment, in the right moment where you have to do it. Yeah, that's not how that works. Well, you don't do it, so That is not how that works. Is this allowed? Are you allowed to block my yard? Yes. Okay. You don't do that, you don't do it. That is when you don't do it right, your job. That is not how that works. This part is in this property. This is our property. Okay. If you guys want to turn this into something more. Okay. Nobody. Okay. You have to do the right thing. Okay. You don't do it? Okay. Sorry. Okay. I know. You saw everything from inside the house, right? Sir, I am not afraid. I am not afraid for you. I'm here. And I'm telling you that if you don't do the things when you have to do that in the moment that you have to do, why you don't stop him in the in that part? Oh, you studied criminal justice? Huh? You're a police officer? Well, that is not your business. If I know, if I not, that is not your business. Okay. Okay, but that is that I'm telling okay. you. Okay, I mean, okay. you're trying to tell me how my job works now. Uh, but you don't do that. Okay. You do that? I don't know what you're saying. Uh, uh, no, you know what I'm saying. No, I don't. Backup and the supervisor arrive, who waste no time getting to the point. Hi, so I'm his supervisor, so I'm going to make one, I'm going to make one request. Okay. Okay. Um, being in your... It, Pulling into your driveway doesn't negate the stop. I'm going to give you the option right now because what's going to happen if you don't pro provide the identification, we're going to have to arrest you. We don't, don't want to arrest you. Arrest. Yes. Okay. So, For what you law? prefer? 
to uh, present the identification or not? Sorry, I am. I am. I have a question. No, 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 no. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting. You. I'm not fighting. Stop. The male suspect submits. However, his wife still tries to argue their way out of the cuffs, but this won't work. Because the kids, the kids are in there. Don't the kids are in there. Please. She'll be quiet. Please let my kids are inside. I have a six-year-old daughter in there, sir. Okay. You can't. Please let We're her. Gonna go. have to find somebody else. Okay, let her her. go. I, she didn't do anything. Absolutely. Absolutely. Put her in the car, please. In the car. Okay. Can I tell my son? Uh, wait yeah, a minute. I have minors in here. Have okay. My... I tell my son. Let's go. I'm not fighting. Car. I'm not fighting. Let's go. Unfortunately, they had to leave the six-year-old at home as both parents were arrested. And I respect that, so sir, let's, and let's I apologize on. to you, men. Can you please let her stay with sir, my kid? No, sir. Please, sir. Who, who am I calling? Both suspects were charged with resisting an officer as well as obstructing without violence. On December 3rd, 2022, a reckless driver drove through police barricades, which were blocking a road. Cops quickly caught up to the driver in a nearby car park. When approached, the female cop quickly notices a baby in the back of the car as well as noticing some indicators that the driver is under the influence. So the other officer is immediately alarmed. Is there your kid in the back? Yes, yes. How old is your baby? She's uh, 14 months. 14 months? Yeah, how is yours? I don't have any. No, I don't, I don't have any. Yeah, I'm meeting a friend. We're, we're good. Can we just park and y'all give me a ticket? I'm so sorry. Do I need to call my lawyer? Can you need to call your lawyer? I, I don't know. I mean, you're taking a long time. I just want to park and meet my friend. We're waiting on another unit to come here because I don't think you're able to be driving. What argument? Of course you are. Can you maybe call your friend, see if she can come hang out with your child? Can we talk to you? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. you want to have her come over here? For now, the suspect appears kind and friendly. But just wait, because her true character is shortly revealed. We're at the Leon County uh, Public Library on Duval. I know exactly where we are. I'm not f***ing drunk. I, and she's I, I, stupid thinking she's, she's drunk on fire. Ma'am, 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 just, just relax, okay? Because you are young and stupid. I'm, I, I didn't do anything wrong. Don't, don't do this, okay? I deserve a ticket. If you did nothing wrong, let us do where you're in best heart. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry you weren't popular in high school. When accused of being drunk, she turns combative and begins making personal insults directed to the officers, particularly the female cop. Don't be fooled though, her insults don't stop here. The backseat of the car. Don't shut the door. Is this something you're trying to find, ma'am? Yeah, my phone. Your phone? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I so was just trying to give you some light to help you, that's all it was. No, it's not. It's not helping. Okay. It's making somebody uncomfortable. Okay. I'm just putting a light, ma'am. That's you're all You're a low class. Okay. Why can't you just like do something else where you don't have to make a fucking drug person? We're just doing our drug. No, you're not. I'm trying to. You're, you're kind of a pervert and I don't like it. Oh, get the pervert away from me. No, he's going to stay right there. Get the there. pervert away from me. No. Oh, really? I'm sorry you weren't proper in high school. I appreciate that. I'm not your that. problem. That's fine. You are you're tonight. 20, you're like 21. Oh, thank you for And I'm that. about twice your age. Okay. You don't have kids. You're not married. You're an idiot. I ask the question. Are you an idiot? It's hard to miss the fact that she's acting like a high school bully, insulting the cops about childish things while making false accusations. But this attitude doesn't last long once reality kicks in. And the if it gets away from me, I'll be okay to find it. You have an attitude, and we see it with every step of your foot. Yes, I know. That's how I stand. That's I also good. work for the Department of Education. Okay. I also used to work for Senator Bob Graham. Okay. And you're pissing off my daughter. I'm sorry that she's she's having. Are you really? I think you're just. Okay, how about we just stop conversing? Okay, okay. Get away from No, ma'am, I will stand right here. Do not me. just continue to argue, so I'm not gonna- I'm sorry your family sick. life was hard, that you have to look for problems okay. in other people to find some, some settling with your family, okay. but you okay. should look me in the eyes because you can't even look me in the eyes. Are okay, you drunk? No, no, but you obviously- never put people in that kind of danger. Right, but you obviously are in some kind of like antidepressants or something because the ways your eyes are dilated it's f up. Oh. what's your name many, many years I'm ago I was born and you took away yes, well uh, good i'm cousins with sergeant actively so i prefer you not smoke while we're talking i don't give a fuck it's my car not your place i would like to do some sure. sobriety tests with you are you certified to do this i am that's why i'm here okay. I'm, I'm assisting him no, please do not arrest me. Go ahead, please. turn around. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. 
My daughter is one. I understand. After continuous arguing and failing sobriety tests, officers confirm she's drunk, so they place her in cuffs. Her bullying continues, even in the cop car. You're gonna have an officer stay with your daughter and your dog until she gets here. Fantastic. And your mom will pick her up and your dog. Okay, stupid. No degrees, no master's degrees, no upper graduate degrees, not even a fucking bachelor's. Where did Idiots! You, where did you said you're a lawyer. Uh, I did. I did say that. So you're a lawyer or you're in school to be a lawyer? I'm a, uh, uh Where'd you go to? Where'd you go to law school, sir? Her? If you want to ask me questions, why don't you answer one? Did you go to? Did you go to college? Do you have a four degree degree? However, reality did eventually kick in, and she was charged with DUI, resisting an officer, and reckless driving. This next bully is in for a big shock once he learns the female officer will not back down to him. On February 14th, 2022, a congressional candidate was seen texting on his phone while speeding and was consequently pulled over by a young female cop. He insistently tries to take advantage of the situation by intimidating her and refusing her requests. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, sir? I'm Sebastian Sarah's at a police department. You're observed going 57 and a 40, and you were on your phone texting while you were doing that. Just do the cheek, what is it? Go right ahead, sir. Can I see oh, your license? Right? Yes, sir, I do. Can I see your license registration insurance, please? You can do this? Yes, sir. So I have a job to do, sir. Yeah, okay. What's your name? Officer Baskin, it's going to be on the citation. Give me a license, please. Sir, can I have your paper? Seven years, sir. You can clearly tell just how angry the suspect is after finding out she does not care about his status. So he tries some more corrupt tactics to avoid getting arrested. Go call the chief. Tell him how rude you just been to me. Blame this video. Can you call Marlon Brown? Can you call the mayor? Okay. We're not okay, Doctor. Tell me what to do. Okay, Why are you doing this? Sir, because you were speeding and you were texting. Where's your video? Alright. You want your report? paperwork? Is it your Russian immigrant status that makes people like this? It's unfortunate. Call the supervisor. 14 dispatch, can you have my supervisor respond, please? Yeah. And then we'll see who goes. Okay. The way he's talking to the female cop is very unprofessional, insulting her and threatening her career as she's simply doing her job. Are you arguing me? You should have said. Well, you've Shut been up. already issued a citation for that. For what? For failing to produce your registration. Right. All right. Are Sir, you are you going to. You know what he said about you? <laughs> you want to hear what he said about you? He could say all he wants about me. I got a job to do, sir. Yeah. You know what he said about okay. you? If he you fail to complete. You like this. Okay. And he's gonna have you again. And that's fine. It's not fine. What you keep saying is fine. Sir. I'm a law abiding citizen. And you're being bloody okay. rude to me. Your citation no, no, already. You I have to wait. You have I will to wait. wait. I will wait, but I will wait on my car. Minute, there you go. Brad, you have coming in. Okay. Very good. By the way, a friend of mine. I'm sorry? I'm aware of that. Friends are weird. Okay. Why are you doing this? Because I have a job to do, sir. Oh, Nobody's above the law. No one's above the law. Have to have some degree of respect for law abiding. That degree of respect started the moment I walked up to your car, sir. His corruption continues as he waits for a supervisor, who he admits is his friend, which is a subtle threat towards the officer's career. Sadly, the backup units are not as brave as the female officer. Well, this one is an expired one, but. Well, that doesn't make it. It'll take two yeah. seconds. Yeah. We're going to make sure that she pays the price for being disrespectful. First, Look, there's a video of it, so be quiet. There's a video of what you said. I've lived here for 25 years. I've represented your unit. I've got no interest in listening to you, young lady. Look, I'm friends with yeah. the, everybody in the police department. This is the first time anybody has been disrespectful to me. Why? I mean, of all the people to do it to, with you and I understand where you're, you're coming from. I don't ask for special treatment, but I don't expect to get treated like a punk. Mm -hmm. This is now the worst part. The supervisor sends a female cop home and the suspect immediately tries to shut the body camera off, which is illegal. So the conversation is recorded, exposing him even further. Yeah, I have to leave it on. All right, <laughs> All right so here's the thing. She lied about the cell phone thing. Okay. She lied about the, I don't know, the speed, I can care less, you can give me the ticket all day long, I can care less about that. 
And then I gave her the registration, and she the thought of it, she says, oh, registration? It's in the car there somewhere. She goes off, she writes me a ticket, she brings me back a citation, I said, there it is. Okay. And she still gives me it. Okay. I back you guys left, right, and center. I understand that. I do. I do. I trust me, I do and know I that. I don't expect better treatment, but I don't expect worse treatment. If that's how you treat people, that's unacceptable. I understand. I understand your frustration. Well, she's a traffic officer. Yeah, that's what we do. But I understand. Yeah, I understand that's what she do. Yeah. yeah. It's not what you do, and you know it. I'm going to look at the video. I, I understand your concerns. I'm going to look at the video. I notified everybody in the chain of command right now. That's what I was doing. That's why I was not coming here. I thought you were going to meet me at the station, but it's not a big deal. I'll, and if there's problems, you will be the first to know. Well, I know there's problems. The difference is, I'll do something about it. Okay. I understand. Yeah. I'm going to take your complaint is what I'm doing. That's the first step. You know, she was on a big power trip. Guess what? She's been there seven years. She ain't going to make that. I'll make sure. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get going on. She ain't. All right, listen. Just being difficult. Okay. Right? Just being cocky. I understand. Like that. <laughs> when she knew exactly who she was talking to. If that's how you, no wonder you got people shooting people in Newtown, if that's how you talk to people. All right, I'll talk to you later. It ends with the supervisor saying, I'll talk to you later, implying he will dismiss the citation. As a result of this video being released, he made a formal apology and announced an official end to his campaign. You're doing your job, but you know what? That's not fair! After a tense altercation with airline employees, cops arrive and try to de-escalate the situation. I gotta leave. Guys, you guys are rebooked for tomorrow. Wait, I know my rights. Okay. So I can't. Hey guys, they're not gonna let you fly you tonight. To me, yeah, but it doesn't matter. They're not gonna let you fly tonight. Why are they not gonna let me fly? Because they're not. You just said I'm gonna call the cops. Guys, I'm gonna, I'll guys. run the tape. Hey, hey. What's your name? Can't run the tape. Chuck What's your name? Chuck. Chuck. What's your first name? But but that's not fair. You know what? You're not gonna make it. That's not fair. You know I know my rights. You're not gonna make it. I know my rights. This doesn't have anything to do with rights. At the end of the day. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hey. I could call. No, hang you up. You can call and complain if You're you want right. to. It's but this has right. nothing. And I'll give a ticket flight free. Oh. To be here because you don't have a flight tonight. Now. I have a flight tonight. No, you don't. You're canceled. You're rebooked. Listen, you're rebooked for tomorrow. Can I have they have a hard time understanding that they will not be boarding on the day they have booked due to the lady's intoxication. Hey. Nobody's intoxicated. Hey. Exactly. I did not Everybody. You just nobody. said it. If so she, arrest if, me. If she got the booking. Go. So arrest me. Hold on, hold on. So She's gonna get arrested if she has the Stop. the boarding the boarding pass. You let's go now. The boarding pass. Let's go. You just put in your I boarding pass for tomorrow. I want to see the footage. So let me get. By the way, this is a mother with a daughter at home that she now cannot get back to until the next day. Let's go tomorrow. Leave her. Don't touch me. You need to leave Don't her. Don't touch me. Okay, that's me. Where's Don't the female touch officer? Me. You need to go. I'm used to the shit. You can see just how confused her accomplice is when she starts turning on him. Yeah, you ain't yeah, gotta pay you, a fucking dollar. So here's the thing. So when he you, said that so when there's a disturbance we, we and you're not highly intoxicated, listen, but that I could board the flight, but she couldn't. Okay. So I, how are you gonna say it? Doesn't matter. We're both highly we're, we, but we got past that, so they called us. And I know you don't because have a, I called you, and you don't have a flight. I told. So listen, bro. I had a flight. So yeah, but they canceled it right here this way. Told me they were like, matter. when the cops come, they're gonna run the footage. Come over here. See that that something happened, like that she tried to kick me. When they were lying, tomorrow, tomorrow. So what paperwork do I have that my, my flight is missing? What paperwork do I have Stop that my flight is missing? Stop yelling. You're going to go to jail. No. no. So take me to jail. If you think she's bad now, just wait till she has a complete meltdown. Come on. Let's get on the thing. There's nothing wrong with me. Okay, get your purse. No, you can't even look at me, though. But again, if that was Ma'am, get your purse. I've been I'll looking get, at you the entire time. Get all right, purse. I'll get my purse right now. It, does, it, it doesn't me. change that they canceled your flight. Right, but why? That's, There's a reason why they, they canceled. They said you were intoxicated. Okay, what they said and what proof is. Well, it appears so, that you are intoxicated. No, I'm not. Yes. So is the camera footage. There's no On the coach away from the airport, she causes even more disturbance. Oh, they came. He came. He came. He came. He came. What? No. See, that's a fucking problem, chat, dumbass. Attention. The door so where's the camera footage, though? But they're not going to run no footage because that's a problem with the government. They done up. 
That's why I said arrest me then. Because I know my fucking rights. You're doing your job. Get off the floor. You're doing your job, but you know what? That's not fair. No, fuck you. Get off the train. You're doing your job. Nobody Listen, we're not, we don't want to. Up close properly. Oh, no. Please be sure that you and your belongings are clear to do this. We are about to do uh, Who the fuck is you? Go. Let's go. Fuck. Hard ass. Hard ass. You're dead right. You're dead right. That's, that's not the way it works. Right. Right. That's not the way it works. And I didn't do this. We need a female officer here. No, we don't. Yeah, yeah, the the do. Do. Hey, you do. Hey, okay. you do. Hey, leave. Okay, hey, listen. You're trespassing. Leave or you're going to jail. How am I trespassing? Leave or you're getting arrested. So arrest Trespass after warning. Okay. After screaming at the cops to arrest her, her wish is finally granted. How am I on the rest? Put your hand behind your back. You made up your mind what you want to do. Put your hand behind your back. There you go. Take that off. You don't need that. You're not going to need that. Get off. Chat. Chat. Take my phone. Yeah, Chat. Yep. You, you want to go back over to the terminal or you want to go home? No, we'll go straight I want to go home. You're not going home now. This somehow comes as a huge shock to the lady. Perhaps she believes she wouldn't actually face any consequences for behaving this way. And you're arresting me for no reason. We're arresting you for trespass after warning and disorderly intoxication. She has the audacity to say she doesn't want problems. I think some people would beg to differ. You're lying! On the way to the cop car, she burst into tears. Three hot pie. <laughs> Great bologna sandwich. We, we, we tried to get you to leave, man. Her charges are currently unknown. On March 10th, 2022, officers responded to a school reporting an aggressive and violent 13 year old student who had just had a fight with another student. Oh! There's no one in here that's going here. Move! 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 Can you do that? Move! Can you go in that room? Okay, and move! Go ahead. I'm gonna trust you. No. Shut up. She treats the officers with no respect at all and decides the classroom is now a rage room. What's wrong with Rebecca? He's not in this room. Take a breath. You're not in this situation. Okay? Nah, bro. Shut up! No, we need that for uh, lunch or something. No, come on. It's not necessary. Nah, bro, he's f***ing bad and cheap. Well, you didn't help with that. Okay, we all sit in there and f*** me. Yes, we could do Just f***ing please, officer. I'm going to throw that milk at you instead of f***ing Layla tries to bully her way out of the situation, but it comes to no success. You're lucky you ain't in handcuffs right now. Bro, you lucky I'm not trying to go to jail today. Because if I was, I would have done You think that scares me? No, it doesn't. Let me tell you damn well I'm not trying to go back there. She's clearly troubled, revealing she's already been in some trouble with the police, and she expresses how little she cares. I didn't mean to throw that at you. Turn around. Get on the door. We're not playing this. Now you're going to jail. We gave you that opportunity to chill out. But if you want to play this game, we'll play it. You want to play this? That's how we'll play it. And it's all on camera, Layla. I don't care. Situation. Ain't gotta be this way. I don't care. So you're probably getting 21, just so you know. Man, f it. I don't care, bro. You look at it and hit you in your chest with that. Yep. Yes, I don't care if this shit is on camera. Well, you know, that's fine. The last time, these cops didn't, didn't put these at all. Didn't like, put handcuffs on? No, they did. When I went to 21, they did, but like, they were so loose, I could easily sip them off, put them on my feet, put them on my wrist. Like, I she could going do into your car, He didn't even lock them? Nope. That's terrible. Layla, you know why you're going to jail, right? Yep. Battery gets an officer. Okay. In the back of the cop car, she tries to convince the cops she's innocent. Sometimes days are better than others. I think sometimes people make bad decisions. Doesn't make them bad people. Right, Layla? 
bad decision. Not necessarily a bad person. She wanted to know why you couldn't give her a free ticket. <laughs> a free ticket for what? Get out of jail free card from Monopoly. Because you threw a damn applesauce at me. That's I didn't cool. mean to! You did. You said no, F you crumple and threw it at me. You said F you crumple and then threw no, it at me. I didn't! <laughs> And then threw the applesauce. Yeah, so I didn't mean to throw it at him. At my knee. I didn't mean to throw These it at you. These are my good friends too, man. These ain't even the ones with the busted class. Uh, you are personally going to make better choices I and not throw not blue applesauce at somebody in green, right? That's the right. Layla was charged with battery upon a police officer. Okay, I know I'm brown and you guys like fucking shooting us. God on, damn it. Relax. I want to fucking get my son relax. Relax. and go home. Relax. That's what I want to do. This is Rosa. A 41-year-old parent who pulled a gun and threatened another parent just outside of a school. On April 18th, 2023, officers confronted Rosa after a parent told school staff that Rosa pulled out what looked like a gun and allegedly said he was going to kill him. Of course, this is an extremely dangerous situation as many children are nearby. Put the car in park for me. Listen to me, please. That's fine. I put it in park. Okay, that's I'm fine. I'm no threat. That's You're fine. You're taking the word of what, someone I'm not you taking, don't know. I'm not taking anyone's word. Okay, what I'm telling you is we have we have a complaint that a firearm was, was presented. Okay, at a school. You understand that? Uh, did I present it at a school? I just pulled in. Look, oh, don't you guys have cameras? All I need you to do is step out of the car. Sir. And this guy can run me just, off the road and just, drive away. Where's no, no, he at? We'll Where that. is he at? We'll address that. Where is he at? He we'll drove away that. already, Seven. motherfucker. You're not listening we'll to me. That. You gotta calm You're not down. gonna address it because he's you gotta done. Calm down. The man is immediately belligerent and aggressive, making the alleged threat seem more believable. I don't even know you. You don't work here. I'm, I'm here every day. Officer. But it gets much worse. Is you're gonna make me look like a criminal in front I'm of all not, these I'm parents. I'm not trying to make you look like anything. Yes, you are. What you're doing is you're elevating. What I need you to I do am is elevating. Calm down. Why would I not there elevate? Have to be a scene. If someone ran you off the road, would there, there be does a not have to be a scene. Can you answer that question, though? There does not have to be a scene here because I, I need to remove you from look, the fire. Look, I'm pushing the button. Okay. okay, I know I'm brown, and you guys like fucking shooting us. God on, damn it! I want to fucking get my son and go home. That's what I want to do. Rosa tries to dominate the confrontation and becomes increasingly furious whilst the cops try to keep the situation safe. This doesn't need to elevate. We can, we can bring it down a couple Can you go get that motherfucker who ran me off the road? Are you going to do that? We can bring it down Did you call minutes. anybody for that? Answer my goddamn question. Listen, sir. Answer my question. You're going to force me to do some things I don't want to What are you going to do? For what? Do Am I threatening you? I need you my to hands calm are down. behind my back. I need you to calm down. Normal. He can commit a crime. No, he can't. He just ran the f***ing red light and ran me up okay. the road. You haven't done shit. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out, man. Oh, but, my f***ing God. Now, You're not going to figure out shit. Well, you guys will never figure out shit. But you f*** with me and criminals can drive away. Okay. <laughs> Listen, what's your name, man? My name's Vinny. Vinny I have fine. a license here. Can fine. I reach for it? Fine. Or are you going to shoot me? I'm saying for it. You're threatening me while I'm picking up my son at school. It's a vape. Listen, listen, <laughs> calm down. I'm we, sick of getting fucked with by you guys. Yeah. Runs okay, red light. From my is that against the law? Fine. That, no, it's not, it's not against the law. It's not, it's not okay. It is against the law. But listen to me. Well, listen to what I'm saying, okay? I didn't say... I, I want to see my accusers okay. right now. That's that's okay. the law. I took criminology. Okay. I can see my accusers. Who are they? We will get... We will get to the I want the, I want that information Wait, sent you, to you. You gotta, you gotta calm down. If you're I am calm. I'm fucking calm as fuck. This is how I talk. Things get even more serious when the school announces code red on the speakers, generally indicating a lockdown pointed out this vehicle with this gentleman on 1025 speak over now. Um, if I can get some units to speak to the complaining parties, which are multiple staff members of the school. Fucking code red. Get the f real, man. You guys are all f***ing brave until some real shit happens. You stay outside while kids are no He keeps saying he's not the one at fault. However, he threatened to end someone's life with a deadly weapon, which is a serious offense. Okay, there's multiple people, okay? Okay, I want to see these multiple, multiple people who can see me driving. Get the f*** out of here, you guys are liars. Multiple people. I am not a liar, and I want to hear these liars lie to my face. That's what I want. In America, we're allowed to have them. That's right, you are. Yeah, we're allowed to have them. Not allowed to run you off the road, not allowed to run red lights, but he's fing gone. I'm out of the f you sleep at night. I, you know, my son's right there. I want to go home, bro. I didn't commit a fing crime. That guy did. Where's he at? The crime guy gets to go away. You guys are a fing joke. He wanted to start a fight that he wasn't man enough for. I want to see that sucker right here. Bear in mind, the school is still in code red, similar to what he's seeing right now. Right now, you're not free to go. You have 30 minutes. I went to college. 
not you. No, they all ran inside and locked down to a red, so I'm just standing out here with a guy. But uh, yeah, the, the weapon is secured. Um, Son's probably in there scared. My accuser here, or did you let him go? You're not under arrest. I'm securing you're you. You're not right putting now. that on I'm me. I'm putting it on you, and if you resist, if you I'm not arrested. under arrest, you're not putting that I'm on me. I'm securing you for safety reasons. Okay, you're, What's you're safety? under arrest. Okay. After he's placed in cuffs and the gun is secured, he's taken to the jail and his kids are taken care of. After his threat was confirmed to be true, he faced charges of brandishing a firearm near school grounds and aggravated assault with a bond set at $5,000. On January 4th, 2024, officers responded to the scene of a school where a student violently attacked an elderly teacher. The unfolding events take place after the teacher caught the student smoking a part. After getting caught, the 16-year-old boy violently punched the woman in the head multiple times, which led to serious injuries. Here's what happened when the cops arrived. Oh my god. The panicked student is taken into the office where he's questioned. <laughs> All right, let's go over there. Due to his erratic behavior, staff believe there may have been something other than marijuana in his cartridge. So he's treated like a victim. Do you take anything? Smoke anything? Drink anything? He said he took a hit or something. I took a car. I ain't take no weed. Yeah, he did. Uh, so did he somebody give you something in the bathroom? Is he hurt? Yeah, well, yes, I think he, he might have hit his head. He was banging he was banging his head I think, against the glass. I think he ran over here and just started beating his head against this glass door. He's weak with winging. Yeah, yeah, we're in the end over here. Over here. He said he just needs somebody to hug him. It's hard to tell whether he's freaking out due to the realization of what he's done or because of what he smoked. Yeah, I'm starting. Okay, all right. I'm feeling myself a little, a little bit. You starting to freak out a little bit? I still, I, I still feel a little bit. It's going away a little bit. A little bit? Okay, 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 okay. Just calm it down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, look, if they're both good. I'm in a dream. No, you're not dreaming, bud. We're, we got you, all right? Yeah, Let us dream. take care of you. Dream, bro. Dream. I think I'm in a dream. Okay, well, hey, listen. I'm talking hey, different a little. I'm check it out. I know you ain't crazy. So okay. two squads are coming. Okay. One's going for the teacher. Okay. One's okay. coming over here. I was running fast and I was glitching. And like you're I, glitching? Yeah. you have anything in your, in your pockets? Yeah. Any glitchies in your pockets? Nope. Nothing. The boy's mother arrives at the school, who is very concerned. Okay, whatever it is in you, they can make plus you down. Right behind you, okay? Hey, bud. Are you in the back? Go down to the hospital now with yeah. us. Okay, yeah. we'll let them know that if you will just go to the front ER driveway. He was taken to the hospital, but it wasn't just him. The teacher was also taken to the hospital, where her skull cap had to be removed in order to prevent brain damage due to swelling. Since this is a recent event, the situation on the case is currently unknown. They said that there was three girls that were on top of her, just beating the crap out of her. This is Nex, a non-binary 16-year-old who faced repeated bullying at school. On February 7th, 2024, Nex was rushed to the hospital after being jumped by classmates. This is how Nex and the mother described the horrific incident. So what happened today? I got jumped. Tell me about it. What happened? Uh, they've been, she said, these three girls there are just, they, they won't leave me alone. They're making comments, they're, yep, they're, they're calling us names, they're throwing stuff at us. And this is an ISP. I'm like, well, who's over this place? I said, ignore it, Dabney. Mm -hmm. get, get above it, you know, just ignore it. Sure. She did until she couldn't in the bathroom. There were no cameras inside the bathroom, but you can see the teen at the water fountain who admitted to throwing water on some of the bullies after being made fun of. Next heads into the bathroom, and only 19 seconds later, a member of Stash rushes into the bathroom. And they said that there was three girls that were on top of her, just beating the crap out of her. After the incident, the school didn't want to contact police, despite the brutality of the attack. Okay, so what are we doing about this? Oh, well, in a couple of days we'll talk about it. I said, no, I want who, something who's, done. Who's, who said it in a couple of the, days? The principal. Okay. Why are they saying that? I said, I think we need to have a police officer. It's assault. It was only for the mother who got the police involved. Uh, my daughter, I've got my daughter, Dagny Benedict, at the hospital. She's a juvenile, and she has 
been at school, and I need to get someone up here so I can uh, file charges. How many kids is um, three. They jumped her in the bathroom. Next describes what happened inside the bathroom. When this first started happening, whatever this is going, this banter back and forth between you and, and the other individuals, did you at any point contact any school administration, whether it be counselor, or did you let any of them know at any point in time? No. Okay. Uh, and I'm just asking, there's no right or wrong, but why not? Um, I didn't really see the point in it. I, I told my mom, though. Sure, sure. No, we before this we had no work left. Before this ISP thing, uh -huh. we had we never saw each other. The freshmen were sophomore. Okay, okay. We didn't know any. Okay. You know, I don't know their names. I don't know. Okay, so so they just up and decided to just start messing with you. There was there. Yeah, was, because of the way that we dressed. Okay, so you didn't do anything at all at any point in time that would have. Uh, even a couple days ago or even a month ago or, or anything like that. I don't know these girls. Okay. The fact the school refused to contact police is extremely fishy, especially due to the severity of the attack. After we sat chairs, we mm -hmm. went to the bathroom. Okay. And I was talking with my friends, they were talking with their friends, and we were laughing, and they had said something like, why do they laugh like that? And, and mm -hmm. they were talking about us in front of us. Mm -hmm. And so I went up there and I poured water on them. Okay. And then all three of them came at me. Uh, you know, uh, pouring the water. The officer explains how Nex technically initiated the fight. Okay, so you squirted him with water, threw water on whatever it was. Okay. Um, then at that point, what happened? Uh, they came at me. They grabbed out of my hair. I grabbed onto them. Uh, I threw one of them into a paper towel dispenser, and then they got my legs out from under me and got me on the ground. And started so I'm, I'm going to follow up, Mom, as far as you're concerned. I'm going to definitely follow up with the school tomorrow morning. I, and I'm not making excuses for them, but I've seen it happen both ways. Either they maybe they forgot, maybe there was other things going on. Who knows? But the fact of the matter is they, they, they dropped the ball on this one of not notifying me right I away. I told them so, I wanted something done. Sure, I sure. said, that is assault. She never so, laid her hands. Now, she did well, water. That was wrong. Well, and I'll, I'll explain the, the criminal side of that in just a second. Okay. So both parties are victims, but both parties are also suspects in this. You get what I'm saying? Your yeah. offender as well. So I will absolutely do a report. If that's yes, what you want, I, want I can do. Okay, but I'm just letting you know. If the other party wants to do the same thing, she's going to be, uh, the assault will be on her as well. Um, because she first assaulted, she was the one who initiated it, essentially, because you got freedom of speech. You can do all this all day long. Mm -hmm. As the interaction comes to an end, the officer says his goodbyes. Good luck to you. I'll see you around. Hopefully not. Well, no, hopefully, yeah, hopefully not. She <laughs> said that. Well, not in a bad way. I mean, hopefully I see you around school and class and wandering the halls and all that good stuff. Yes, you can smile you and wave and say, hey, Thompson, and you know, all that good stuff. So, But little did he know, he would never see Nex again. Someone, an ambulance here, quick, please. Okay, what's My daughter, on? I don't know what's going around wrong. She's posturing and her hands How are in. and she? she? She is 16. But she got beat up at school yesterday. I took her to the hospital last night. Okay. Um, she's not doing good at all. I need someone here now. I want to know how her breathing is. She's breathing in, but then she, her eyes are, they open, but she's doing like a, huh, 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 you know, like a really quick, and her hands are posturing already. They're, they're rolling in like, like, I don't know if it's from her head injury because they, she hit her head on the bathroom floor and she kept saying she had a headache. Okay. Is she can she still like look at you? Like if you're No, her eyes are her eyes are rolled up. Gosh, I hope this ain't from her head. They're supposed to have checked her out good. Just one day after this footage, on February eighth, Nex was pronounced dead. Federal privacy laws means that the disciplinary action taken on the students involved will not be disclosed. But any notion that the district has ignored taking action is untrue. Bizarrely, an autopsy report says the death was not caused by trauma. And many protests have taken place in support of Nex. Listen to me. How old are you? How old are you? Five. Five. You feel like you can make your own decisions? Huh? This five-year-old boy left school by himself and was found in the streets. But he wasn't the only criminal in this situation. Why people need to beat their kids. On January 14th, 2020, a school reported a missing five-year-old student who escaped school and didn't want to return. 
An officer located him on a nearby street and sternly confronted the scared child. Come here. Come here, buddy. Yeah, we'll be out with him. It's gonna be at uh, 733 Silver Spring Avenue. What's going on, man? What are you doing? Have a two George 14. 733 Silver Spring What are you doing? Huh? Since the boy was probably frightened, he didn't move, so the officer dragged him away. I got you. Listen to me. How old are you? How old are you? Five. Five. You feel like you can make your own decisions? Huh? You feel like you can do what you want? Are you an adult? Are you 18? So why are you outside of school? Look at me. Why are you out of school? Why do you have people following you? Huh? I don't care if you don't want to go to school. You do not have that choice. You understand? Charlie Adam, 3393. Get back over there. Now. Now. Don't make me take you over there. No record of that tax down. Okay. All right, can I give you a vest? No, for a license. Listen to me. I want you to listen very clear. You don't make any any decisions for yourself. Unless somebody is trying to hurt you. Now, is somebody trying to hurt you? George Yankee. Allegedly at the school, the boy hit students and teachers, as well as breaking a $1,000 computer before walking off. There is no police. Cut it out. Hey, cut it out. Cut it now. I'm riding with you. We're going back to school. Listen to what the officer says here, as they receive some serious backlash for this. I don't know how y'all do it. Now, I'm not asking. Get in the car. And I'm going with you. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna have problems. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I don't want to hear it. I still don't want to hear it. I don't want to go. I don't care. You don't make that decision for yourself. Probably not. Get your mama thank you. She suggested that the mother should break the law and hit him. Well, oh, my life if I tried to do some stuff like that. I would have been beat nine times before I got home. Don't nobody want to hear that. Ain't nobody even listening. You know why? The child isn't treated well at all, and the cops use force to drag him back to the school, constantly stating, this is why you need to be kids. Get out. Now. Get out of the car. Now. You have got to be joking me right now. You've got to joke me. I mean, how do you learn that type of behavior at five? He, okay, see, this is why people need to beat their kids. That destructive in the building. That's why people need to beat their kids. Oh, wait, here, here, here. I have my thing on. I'm so how y'all staff? Y'all can't get it. You should see. Know what? Sit down. 2008 Cadillac. Sit down. No! The way the officers treat the young child in the office is nothing far from disgusting. Oh, your mama, let me be. I'm away. Screaming at him, mocking him, and accusing the mother of teaching the behavior. Ain't nobody ah! 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 Oh my god, I beat him so bad. Have we beat him? Ah! Yeah. You breaking up computers? Ah! What? Oh, this is, he destroyed property. He, he done broke up computers. He done hit one of the kids with a clipboard. It's mine. I wish you would. I wish you would slap that phone out of there. Sit down. Sit down. No. You better listen to me. You are mad rude. You understand? Your mom's going to talk to you. She's on the phone. Hear what she has to say. Sit down. Yes. Calm down, Doodle. Mommy coming, okay? Sit down. <laughs> when the mother arrives, she's initially unaware of how the officers treated her son. So she discusses with them how to deal with his behavior. Uh, if you want, we can talk about that. No, we can talk about now. it. Yeah, I would okay. just want to show y'all. Come on, Doodle. 
stand up for my room. This is 16 years later. I have a, a 22 year old at home. Mm -hmm. So this one is for you. Mm -hmm. I can't discipline him because the government won't allow you. Yes, you can. I, I s him, but I can't discipline him how I want to discipline him because of this. I'm not losing my child to the system and I'm not going to prison. Okay, can you so clarify I just wanted how to you show would your, like to discipline this Not being physically abused. Who said he was? No, because we, we believe it's the exact opposite. Yeah, we want you to beat him. You're talking about getting him a, a... I can't I can't beat him. Why? Because I'm not going to prison. You don't go to prison for beating your child. Listen to me. I made a statement in here and one of the school staffs, Mr. You, the principal perhaps you did it co incorrectly no you don't use a weapon no i to, don't to use a weapon but you can so, smack that butt repeatedly I, I, yes. listen to me mm -hmm. i'm 41 years old i'm older than you i i understand so that. your age I, means nothing i'm 41 okay i'm 22 year old so this one i'm starting all over again understood he spoiled not good what did i write what did i email you this morning and say that if he's had a good day he gets to celebrate that Take him to Jamaica, Disney World, do everything. Struggling, su this not single a good day Following the incident, the mother was very upset with how it was handled and filed a lawsuit. Two years later, and a settlement was made, and the mother received $275,000. $220,000 is being paid on behalf of the officers involved in the incident, and the other $55,000 is being paid on behalf of the Board of Education.